Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing an everything you need to know video for the Sons of the Forest. Um, I recently played the Forest and I really really liked it so that got me really excited for the sequel to this game, Sons of the Forest. So before we get started, a like is always appreciated and get subscribed for more content on this game and just more videos like this in the future. And yeah, with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So first things first, let's start off with the release date and what platforms it's releasing on. So the release date is... Well, they don't have an actual release date, but the time frame is October of 2022 uh, for PC. Uh, there's no talk of there being a console release yet, so um, I I'm assuming there will be because it was, or the the so the forest was released on the console. So I'm assuming that the sequel will be released on there too. Maybe not at first. Maybe they'll, they'll, they'll probably release the game in like uh, um, uh, early access state, and that's why it's only for PC for right now. But once they get a full 1.0 release, I bet you it will be on uh, consoles. Now, in terms of gameplay and stuff, it's going to be similar to the forest, just with a couple of new mechanics or actually a decent amount of new mechanics. There's going to be digging now, so you can dig and find bunkers, as you can see in this trailer. Uh, you can also use a 3D printer um, and use resin to print things, I guess. I don't know what you're going to be printing, but there's 3D printing now. <laughs> And there's also a brand new AI system, which is apparently super duper duper good, and it is called Veil, vale, and it will result in some extremely complex behavior, and resulting in characters becoming afraid, tired, angry, hungry, thirsty, bored, etc. It's just, it's really amazing. So I'm really excited for that because the AI system in the previous game, The Forest, was already pretty dang good. So I'm really excited to see how amazing this AI is going to be. And, and there's some more smaller gameplay mechanics like how you can put um, uh, uh, spikes on top of your walls just by hitting it with an axe and stuff like that. And uh, in one of the trailers you can see them making a tent out of this like aluminum foil looking blanket. It has a name. I think it's called Mylar. Is it called a Mylar blanket? I can't remember what it's called but it's a really shiny blanket. So it looks like from the uh, helicopter crash that you see in the first trailer which you should have seen by now probably <laughs> but it looks like you have some better technology for when you start exploring the island that your helicopter crashes on now in terms of weapons though it does look like we have some more um modern weapons being like shotguns and stuff like that which does seem really interesting but i did read in one article that they are trying to keep the focus on melee gameplay or if you are using range it will be more like a bow and arrow or a crossbow but it's cool that we have some like nice weapons like really good weapons because if you've seen the trailers which are watching them right now the caves look extremely scary and the enemies that you see like crawling up over the walls just looks super terrifying so i'm happy that we have some more powerful modern weapons but do keep in mind that these weapons will have limited ammo so you want to be uh, frugal with your ammo and really make sure that you're making the right call when you go to fire your gun but back to crafting and base building, it looks like they have tried to refine and improve every system from the previous game, just making the building more satisfying and immersive as you can see in the trailers, and making the crafting a lot more visual, which I think is really cool because you can see them like making a fire, like actually breaking the sticks and adding them to the pile instead of just plopping down a blueprint and then putting the rocks in there and it doesn't look as real and immersive and, and then the sons of the forest it looks just super real which i think is awesome for this game now one other thing that i want to talk about before we get on to the um story of the game is that they have a new weather system and this weather system sounds really impressive so as full seasons which is just amazing so like in the winter snow is going to cover everything and then the spring the trees are going to start um growing leaves on them and it's going to become sunny and no snow and in the summer it's going to get hotter and then in the fall the leaves are going to start falling it just does seem so amazing to have in a game like this now in terms of stories we don't know much about the story but if we take a look at the trailer we do see that we do crash on a, on this island on a helicopter and then we do end up starting to explore the world and build bases and continue on like that fighting cannibals and new enemies but we don't know much about like the end goal of the game or what we're, what we're doing on this island so i'm not too sure on that like in the first game we had to find our son which was on the plane when it crashed but now i'm not too sure what we're doing because there ain't no sun on this on this helicopter but yeah once we do learn more about the story and more about this game i will make more videos on it for sure 
but I feel like I gave you a pretty good idea of what this game is about and everything you need to know about it. I didn't go super in depth about everything about this game, but I feel like I gave you a good idea and covered the main points. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then hey, go down below and give it a like and uh, consider subscribing for more content on this game in the future. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.